I I think uh, yeah. So I think going live again fixed the issues with Twitch. So I should be live now, like really, actually live now. Alright, I should be actually live now. Right? Yes, I am. Okay, so let's begin by doing this. Okay, so I should really be live now. I can see the stream on my tablet. So I am very sorry about that. So Twitch seemed to ha to be derping for a bit. I just my stream just wouldn't load for some reason. Now I'm live, and hopefully people can now see the stream because. It would really just piss me off because I've been talking for for like 14-15 minutes with the last stream until I just decided to just like try going live again. I'm sorry for those people who have like repeat notifications of me. I really am. So we're currently terraforming? Yeah, that would be the proper term, terraforming for spawn. Should do it. So let's forget about tomorrow. Let's for tonight while we're free. Aye. So hopefully What just happened? Hopefully that didn't affect the output uh the stream. We're just going to destroy all of this. So I think I might just go that direction. Like expand here. So like here, that's one block, that's two blocks, 
That's tree blocks. That's four blocks. That's five blocks. Six blocks. Seven blocks. Eight blocks. So things should start there. Yeah, I'll do the terraforming and then the expansion first. And then the expansion second second. Alright, hello Curly Cat, and it's going good. So I had trouble on uh, first go on the first uh, 14 minutes of going live. So I just had to reset the stream and uh, try going live again. And now, since you're here, hopefully, it's good. Alright, so let's just light some TNT here. Nice and clean. Alright, one more. Okay, alright. One more here. That didn't work. Okay. Yeah, that's not... that's fine. I can just manually do that. So these guys, like here... There you go. Ah, oh, I dug too much. Well, that's my fault for not using... for using TNT improperly anyway. go one TNT two TNT TNT is good when you need to like remove a lot of obstacles real quick yeah just like that There we go. Alright, so let's work with this. I need to light this up, like later. Like torches. I should probably do that? I'm in creative mode, but I should probably do that. Slash day. Or just let them burn. Either way, it's going to be it's good for me. There's a large ravine below spawn, but I'm afraid that like if I if I don't protect spawn even though it's just a very vanilla world someone's just going to steal it steal from it and grief it that's the main thing I'm afraid of So hopefully, 
we can uh, no 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 TNT here slide it yeah it basically just obliterates what we need it to you you my guy need to die there we go well you didn't die but at least you're out of my way Wait, no. Try this. Check. I was expecting it to like do more. But that's fine. Why is it so hard to gauge TNT? Like that's better. I don't know, it just should be open. It dig dig. Oh, well, that's faster than me breaking it at the very least. Wait, actually... Actually, we can just leave those be since we're using stone. Alright, there we go. Yes, that's correct. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Alright, so let's do TNT here. Okay, that took more than I expected, but it was just fine because I needed those gone anyway. Okay, there's water there. So one more. Okay, 
There's like a lake here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Taking care of. So more TNT. Shit. There's lava. Okay. Basically, I'm gauging how much I need to... So basically, what I'm doing right now is just... Mining. Let's go around the coal, just cause. Yeah, we really need to bomb this, don't we? Shit, too close to the call. There's a whole pool of lava here, and I need to annihilate this whole thing. Where's my flint? And Utopia Unicorn is back in the game. Oh, hello, Utopia. I mean, I'll just leave it go night. Have it go night. It's okay. Vision. Yeah, I think that should do. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to do this. 
It's hard terraforming this whole mess. That's why I think doing Night vision for... Yeah, I should have infinite. There we go. I don't know. Like, Utopia. I've, I'm already like... I've already let it go night. So that's just the spawn rate. The natural spawn rate. I wonder just for fun, should I do this in like survival and just like give myself the blocks? That's still cheating, but like a lot of things are spawning in spawn right now. Zombies, skeletons, whatnot. Also if uh, someone's going to ask why can I give myself potion effects even though this is vanilla, uh, by technicality, I still have plugins here. It's just that it's disabled for regular players. And uh, once I really begin playing, uh, either here or in the Vanilla Plus server, yeah, it is an OP command. So, yeah. I mean, essentials also makes it easier, uh, makes the give command easier. Cause normally, the give command is only for ops. Now essentials gives you the ability to give the g permission for the give command for people who are not ops. Which is like, when you're up, you just like, you know, just use, uh, creative mode, but like, Minecraft is weird like that. Plus, there are blocks that you can only obtain with the give command. A perfect example is, uh, Minecraft barrier blocks. You can't obtain it with the creative, uh, with creative. Unless there's already an existing barrier block and you middle click on it. Otherwise, you need to use the give command for it. This night vision is a bit trippy for me. 
because it reminds me of like have they fixed the bug with oceans yet uh with water yet that when you're underwater you basically have night vision yeah i do wonder if they fixed that bug with water yet Yeah, building spawn is going to take a few days at the very least, so it's going to take a few streams. So this stream, I'm aiming, if I make it like a long stream, hopefully, we'd be able to fill the whole, the whole shebang with blocks. Well, the whole plot with blocks anyway. Like, I could... I could make the plot. That's the hope. And I'm also hoping that I might reach my follower goal. For the end of April, hopefully, maybe. But that goal is secondary to the goal I have of like completing, completing uh, the plot for Spawn. Yeah, I just want to see it happen, really. You're right, cause like, it's not an important goal. Like, reaching it would be nice. But at the same time, building this is more my priority, I suppose. I don't know, you might just need it to... You just need to wait for it, I suppose. There's a lot of lava in spawn. But it's not my rent. I'm not going to fill it up.
You know, Utopia, I could just make it night again, if you want. Or do you want to wait for the regular cycle? Alright, there you go. I'm actually curious if I'll be opt in this server. I'm using the permissions. Uh, since I'm synchronizing permissions on all servers, so I shouldn't be opt mainly because I just need the owner rank. Even then, the owner rank gives you the option to op yourself. I'm not really sure. I'll test maybe later? It's just really something I was wondering. I mean, I suppose the easiest way to find out is just the op myself. I'll do that maybe, we'll see. Uh, give me a moment. I miss... Uh, That emote, uh, it just reminded me of someone. Yeah, this is the ravine. Yeah, I need to like build over this.
There we go. So we're going to cover up this ravine. And uh, hopefully, that's the end of it. Yeah, I might add, no not really might, I'm going to add World Guard to this server. And then I'm going to lock spawn from, I'm going to protect spawn from anyone building on it. Cause once I finish the structure for spawn, I'm going to allow people to interact with shit but I'm not going to allow people to build on it mainly because I don't want anyone griefing spawn What do you mean to be? To be, to be, to be. What's to be? Ah, to be to tea. Yeah, it's not going to be to be to tea. It's not going to be like an anarchy server. Like, I mean, I'm building spawn right now. And I plan to build like a really really big structure so uh, I'd be really pissed off if someone were to just destroy it I mean we could like Add like a sing a server instance where it's just anarchy. I'll even like give people opt on that server. Since like the network ex is segmented by virtual machine, each server is like situated on its own node. So that load ba uh, load balancing is easier, and so that it doesn't crash. So if a single server crashes, it's not going to affect like every single one. It's not going to affect the whole network. So Creeper, do you wanna die? Let's make you fall. Oh, they were caught by water. Oh well. Looks like someone already went down to this ravine though. Huh. Well, someone mined the ores from spawn, so I guess someone went down to the ravine. So it's either you, Utopia, or Dark Pyro. Pyromancer. Alright, so maybe it's Dark Pyromancer, or maybe. The other streamer who's like in this server, uh, that would be what's his name again? Sa uh, Cryo.
Yeah, Kyo is with Pyro. I'm avoiding picking up shit because like I just don't want to empty my inventory. I mean there's the clear inventory command but like you know. So did you get any slimes yet? Or still no spawn? Nice! The last time I needed slimes was when I needed to like craft a fucking lead. And I was like, why is a lead so hard to like craft? It really pissed me off that like waiting for slimes to spawn was a pain. You could. What the hell? I mean, it's an 18... Yeah, it's an R18 stream, so it's fine. But please, don't loot the lollies. Come on. They're lollies. Don't loot them. Come on. No, it's slash INV clear, I think. There you go. Dang. Depends on the lolly, I suppose. <laughs> oh my god, why are we talking about this? But like, yeah, it depends on the lolly.
Yeah, I suppose. That exploded better than I thought. What? Villagers is 1.5 meter distance. What do you mean? I see. I don't think Mojang ever coded coronavirus into like Minecraft. Maybe version 1.16 will have it? You'll just be prevented from uh, from it, social distancing and shit. I mean true. Things to become zombies, and surprisingly, the player doesn't become a zombie. That would be interesting. TNT. Wow.
There we go. Alright, what song is this? That's no good. Next, please. Next, please. Windows noises. I mean, yeah, uh, system sounds aren't muted, I think. Shit. Don't worry, I have a big plan. Well, not really a big plan, but like, I have plans to switch everything to Linux soon enough. Just really need to well not everything to linux i still need windows for a f more than a few things but a lot of things are going to be changed to linux around here especially since uh i am actually planning to I'm actually planning to begin the semi-automation of my house. Like it's not going to be fully automated, not yet, but I'm just waiting for COVID to like be done so I can get paid. And I know it like sounds so bad. But basically, I'm doing work related to COVID, which you actually know, uh, Utopia. And uh, I'm going to be paid quite a bit for it. So that... Well, that money is going to go to me buying parts so I can automate my home. So mainly Arduino boards for the light switches, Arduino Uno or Nanos. More likely Nanos because that's cheaper. And then I'll have I'll have maybe a small PC, something around the lines of maybe an old a second hand PC to handle the load of controlling the lights. And the load of also acting the lights in the sockets. So sockets will also be controlled by smart switches. Uh, by uh, not really a smart switch. Um, the main thing it's basically an Arduino Nano connected to. Uh, 
connected to uh, what do you call this? Connected to a relay, relays. I mean. That's the first part. So the first part is just getting voice to work. Developing the app for it. Developing the program and app and mobile app for voice commands and uh, controlling the house electricity. My ambition is actually to get like control over water and some other shits as well like heating and whatnot. Turn, uh, set and like have a remote, build a remote so like control air conditioning. So I'll be building each and everything like homebrew style, DIY style instead of like buying shit off the shelf. Mainly because the main issue I have with like off the shelf shit is like security wise. I don't want Amazon or like Google just like having my shit. That's mainly it. Oh! Cryo cyanide. I'm so sorry. Hello. I wasn't pay att paying attention to the chat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know you were here. <laughs> Hello Cryo. Welcome to the stream. So I'm currently building the plot for spawn. <laughs> oh my god. I was so focused on like the chat in game that I wasn't monitoring Twitch chat as much because commonly the only one chatting there would be Utopic so we were discuss uh, I'm I'm doing good and Utopia is in the server yeah and she, uh, Utopia is also watching the stream so we were discussing about me uh, doing home automation. Kappa! <laughs> Wait, what? You're not? Well, I'm not really paying attention to the viewer count, so like, you know? Now, what was I doing? <laughs> Alright. Okay, so liar, like really liar. Um, uh, I think you should wait until you're like not in your parents' house. So me and Utopia were talking about uh, me building home automation. And why I'm building it DIY instead of like buying shit, buying things off the shelf. That's mainly because like I don't want Google, Amazon, Apple. Yeah, I think Apple also ha integrates home, aut home automation to Alexa. If I remember correctly. But yeah, I didn't want them like having... I don't know, virtual control over my house. So I'll be building home automation by myself when I get paid uh, after the COVID pandemic. Uh, not so much. Uh, back then, DIY is much cheaper. But now, the, ar the difference is like, The difference is not that much, actually. But 
Like, I think a smart switch from Amazon is just like a few bucks. And an, Ar an Arduino is about an Arduino Nano plus the relay is about five ten dollars a pop. And a smart switch from Amazon maybe twenty dollars. So I guess it's a five ten dollar discount. So it's not that cheap per per se. But yes, you do save a couple of bucks. And thank you for uh, <laughs> for complimenting my voice. Although I don't know, I I sorta do not like my voice. Maybe. Mainly because I sound perpetually sick. Yeah, blowing this up seems much quicker. Yeah, doing blowing this up seems much quicker. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for the lurk, uh, Cryo, and uh, have fun cleaning the house. Although, hmm, I don't know if you're the type of person to have fun cleaning. I mean, I do have fun. I just don't know about you, but yeah. See you later! Yeah, cleaning is relaxing. Yeah, I might need to just do this manually. I think this I think doing TNT is just making it slower. Can I enchant a pick with TNT though? Can I have like an uh, explosion e effect on a uh, Pickaxe And then just Flash effects I don't know, I wonder. And is it going to be faster than doing it in creative? Both of those things I'm not sure of. I might experiment with it later.
Alright, I'm going to think of a way we can do this like much faster maybe? So I'm just googling something right now just to going to what is this Interesting. So it's possible in survival? Yeah, just give me a moment. So it's a plug-in. Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's just do this.
Alright, yeah. It's not going to work. At the very least, not how I imagine it to be, to work. Alright, let's give ourselves a command now. Wait, did I just give myself 64 command blocks? Well, I guess that's fine. I disabled command blocks there. Slash OP. Wait, I wasn't OP'd. I see. Dang. Alright. So let's do that. Get a redstone torch. No, just a redstone block, maybe. The hell? Oh, that's laggy. Command blocks are not enabled on the server. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I need to restart the server for this one. Haha! -ha! Yeah, we'll do it uh, when we go to break.
Alright. There we go. My tablet almost <laughs> dropped to the ground. Uh, okay. Yeah, terraforming this is hard. This is the hard part of this terraforming. Because building... Since I already built the structure in my... Test world... Which I'm not about to like show on this stream because like uh, let's just say my test world is really really messy. There we go. There we go.
Let's replace these blocks. Hey, it's Opie, are you there? I suppose not. Alright. Welcome back to the stream, Cryo, and uh, yeah, there the went AFK, I think. I was going to have them mine the coal, cause like it's such a it's such a waste. But. That's fine, I'll just leave the coal hanging around. And then... So I've already made quite a bit of progress. This is just still a few blocks though. I still need to clear it until here. Right here. So that's still quite a lot because this is going to be a super large build. So it's going to be our spawn world but yeah it's going to be our spawn so it's going to be a very very large build. There's also iron here. Seems like a pity to just destroy it. And welcome to the stream, Dan17. How are you doing tonight? I'll just leave this here for anyone to take until I protect spawn but that's going to have to go when I begin building yeah I think I'm having the colds now that's not good. <sighs> Mainly because I shouldn't be having colds, especially in this pandemic. It's 
zombie, you're not hiding from the sun. You're going to burn. There we go. Burn. I really wish we could mine like faster here. Well, not really mine, break blocks like faster. Let me give haste to myself actually. Wow, that's a bit too fast. Well, actually, no, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's not going to be good. Well, we are destroying blocks faster, that's for sure. It removes the action that, like, the hand action from the equation. There we go, we should be able to do this.
Actually, why am I destroying this? I shouldn't be. Because that's already blocks place that I don't need to destroy. There we go. This is not exactly This is going a bit too slow for me Which is not good But that's fine, we have a lot of time should probably get back to doing the floors as well because it's going to be tedious doing all of it later there we go
Ay. Actually, I might just build a chest and then mine this and just have the chest there for anyone to find. Yeah, I might just do that actually. Still feeling a bit sick, but like doing good. Thank you for asking, Cryo. How about you? How are you? So how did your stream go earlier actually? I I went back to the stream but you already ended it, so I was like, oh, okay. That's when I moved uh to watching filthy stream. Well, actually, I had you both, like, on and AFK on both streams, anyway. Lurking. Haha! <laughs> Ah, I see you're having mic problems and I accidentally hit my mic there. Um, I see, so that's why you ended the stream uh, early. Is that it? And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm doing good progress on the build, but at the same time, this is just only the platform. I still need to build the actual structure. This platform is 141 by 141 blocks. I still need to expand it until here by 8 blocks more because I need 149 blocks. If I remember correctly, I need 149 blocks. So that I can build the full build I was planning. Or should I say I am planning. Oh, you restreamed again for an R. I'm sorry I did not notice. I... Wait... Was it uh, when I joined? Was it your restream or was it was that your first stream before you had mic problems? Because when you ended your stream, I just yeah I move I move my focus complete completely to filthies, and I was chatting there until I 
until filthy ended his stream and i had like about uh, a few more minutes to get ready for mine Ah, I see, I see. So I didn't catch your second stream. Ah, okay. That was mainly because uh, we, me and uh, who's that guy Fr uh, from Filthy Stream? We were uh, doing quite a bit in chat. Yeah, these need to die. Uh, Alright, if I do TNT right here... That's going to probably... Yeah. Straight out of... Ki uh, let me get an axe, actually. So, let's get an axe. And then let's kill these. Just like goodbye. Like get out of my sight. There you go. Come on. Go. Go away. I don't need you. I'm trying... No, 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 no. I'm trying to clear this place out. I should probably light it up with torches. But I'm a bit lazy to do that. Yeah, I should probably light this place up with torches. Because I'm just going to get annoyed with mob spawning later. No, I. If I disable mob spawning, that's going to affect like the players in here right now. That's not. Yeah, that's not good. Let's just put torches actually. Clear this, add torches. And it suddenly decides to be daytime. Yes, I'm just throwing torches around half a sardly. Wait, what? I don't remember mining here. Alright. 
Okay, that's the first set of torches. Now I needed five blocks. One, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, this is one reason I hate using uh, Optifine because it just smooths everything out. You can't see the indicator for blocks. This is one of the reasons why I don't use Optifine that often, but like Optifine just looks more uh, realistic. But for proper building, vanilla is much better in my opinion when I want to actually build something out and want to see the blocks. Uh, I'm using shaders right now and yeah, it's actually very good. But, like I said, it has its quirks. So like, see here? You don't see the block indicators of how many blocks. So normally, I use the block indicators to count the blocks. But with Optifine, I need to put down blocks to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. I was almost there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. When am I planning to come back to the Philippines? Yeah, I understand what you mean. She just really just narrows the torches to a glow. Hmm. Okay, so the first question, when am I going back to the Philippines? Never. So, people might say it's more fun in the Philippines. It's not. It's really not. 
it's not more fun in the Philippines, so no. Just no. And as for reducing torches to a glow, well, torchlight is supposed to be short in real life. Like, torchlight doesn't really provide that much light, supposedly. Well, not really supposedly. It doesn't really provide that much light in real life. So shaders just make the glow a bit more realistic. At the same time, torches still provide you with the same uh, light level as regular Minecraft with shaders on. So it's still fine. One, two, three, four, Why is my... am I miscounting or... Yeah, it's just a delay, I think. I'm just walking a bit too fast. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Shader is literally just now. Ah, uh, yeah. So I thought uh, Cryo wrote on your chat. Anyway. isn't a great place to stay into legit want to leave uh yeah first opportunity you get cryo leave i highly suggest leaving one two three four five so people say that like singapore's the living The expense of living in Singapore is uh, expensive, but that's because you're converting from the Philippine Peso. If you stop converting the money, mainly because uh, Philippine Peso is just like so weak, the currency is just very weak. It's 39 pesos currently? Per one Singaporean dollar so yeah uh, the currency is just so weak it's not a fair comparison so it's not really expensive to live in Singapore if you earn Singapore uh, the money here not like as a foreigner just visiting if you are a Filipino Filipi uh, visiting Singapore, then yeah, sure, it's expensive. But if you're actually living here, it's not, it's not that expensive. 
It really depends on your job and your income, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five. Like, anywhere is better than the Philippines. Yeah, I don't know why the mentality the here in the Philippines, like, you don't feel... You don't live there. Why do you need to translate the money? Uh, it's just a comparison. Like, they want to... They want to, like... How do I say this? Why do they convert? It's more on like they want to compare like how hard it is to live in another country versus like your own versus the Philippines. Problem is their comparison is just not proper, not logical. Would be the <clears throat> My voice, I'm losing my voice, would be the logical explanation for it. They're trying to make it seem like living in the Philippines is better. But it's not. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, it just, they're, they're comparing things that like really can't be compared. Mainly because Singapore's economy is very, very good. Where Singapore is currently in a good position, like to actually survive this pandemic. So even with the pandemic, like the conversion rate really hasn't been affected that much. Whereas like the Philippine peso, if I remember correctly, has dropped in value quite a lot. Mainly because the Philippine government is spending so much money in trying to cover their asses over the covid pandemic because the philippines is so ill prepared for the pandemic that they're having to actually spend money on shit one two three four no uh one two three four five they're actually needing to spend money on healthcare, care whatnot like vaccine uh testing kits whereas other countries just like took the formula and built their own kits everything about living here is nothing but bad corruption earnings is low professionals are paid low it's all bad philippines equals 3 billion equals corruption yeah actually it not as black and white but at the same time I do agree with you like see uh, you see other countries like for example I'm always uh, promoting Singapore as like a good example but let's go a bit further let's take Canada for example Canada is like paying for it the healthcare of their citizens for those uh, infected by the COVID. There, the government is allowing uh, paying for work from home measures to be implemented. It's actually mandatory for companies. 
for big companies and small companies are being helped by the government uh, those out of work are being given like work from home jobs and what's more is that like the Canadian government isn't isn't borrowing money from the international ba- the international bank or from other countries just to sustain itself because the Canadian economy is positioned in such a way that they can handle the pandemic better than other countries and to be frank the Canadian while the Canada is a first world country it still pales in th- in comparison with other countries as such as like uh London yeah the UK the UK is a good example of a country that's first world but was ill prepared for the pandemic but at the same time they had measures in place so they were able to control it after like one month of uh, one two months of ha- not having control over it whereas if I understand correctly the Philippines still is struggling to control the pandemic and it's been what three months welcome back utopia unicorn it's also sad because the reason why our professionals do leave this country because the government doesn't care for of us our government has clowns haha <laughs> uh, one two three four four so this is five because that's starting there all right so i've been streaming cryo my love clowns are funny no clowns are scary have you watched the movie it's like clowns are fucking scary but like i love clowns especially the killer ones Criminal Minds, like the TV show, has really opened my eyes to love killer clown, killer clowns. But anyway, I'm beginning to lose my voice. It's the signal that I really need to take a break. So I shall be back, everyone. I have been streaming for two hours and nine minutes, so I'm nine minutes over my expected break time. Yeah, clowns are funny. That's why I laugh when uh, Duterte li- uh, live streams. Oh my god, wait. The president? Uh, the president does live streams? What the fuck? Like what, on Twitch or something? Oh, in YouTube. Okay, okay. Not every day, but yeah, but still though. The President of the Philippines does live streams. Okay, that's new. Trump should actually do that. But yeah, anyway, it's time for me to take my break. So Dahlia, please put me on break, please. And I will be back, everyone. Sorry that I was nothing without you. Oh, after everything you've done, I can thank you for how strong I have become. Cause you brought the flames and you put me through hell I had to learn how to fight for myself And we both know all the truth I can tell I'll just say this is I wish you farewell I hope you're somewhere praying Praying I hope your soul is changing Changing I hope you find your peace Falling on your knees Pray proud of
who I am. No more monsters, I can breathe again. And you said it. I'm running away from this pain I'm trying to find a new way Where the sun's shining down on my face I'm running away You're in a toxic relationship Time to be
Alright, so that was quite the long break. I really need to needed to figure something out, mainly a tool that uh, I wanted to use. And uh, thank you, Utopia Unicorn. I am back, and uh, I figured out the proper commands for it. So basically, Minecraft has this built-in functionality that allows you to add code to it. I didn't know you can mod Java Edition like that. I really didn't. But apparently you can. And uh, it gives me access to a special tool. So yay for me. So give Give me a moment. Posted something in our admin chat. Okay, give me a few moments. Trying command block. 